Hi, Brent Tech here. We Tech is made simple. This is just a quick follow-up video to a video I posted on the 25th of June this year, 2021, and that was the day after Microsoft officially announced Windows 11. And in that video, I mentioned that Windows 11 would be getting a better update experience to what is currently found in Windows 10. Now, in that first video, I mentioned that Windows 11 would be following the same servicing model as Windows 10. And if we just head over to Microsoft Docs uh, for your monthly quality updates, which are your B releases, your C releases, and your OOB releases. Now, Windows 11 is going to be following the same servicing model as Windows 10. And your B releases are your uh, Patch Tuesday updates, your cumulative updates, which roll out on the second Tuesday of every month. And these normally carry uh, your security fixes to the operating system. And these will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device as they are compulsory updates. And then your C release updates are your optional preview updates, which roll out normally at the end of every month. And these normally carry the bug fixes to the Windows operating system. And I always suggest only install the optional updates if you are experiencing any bugs and issues on your device. And if you don't install the optional update near the end of every month, a lot of the fixes found in the C release update will uh, roll over into the next month Patch Tuesday B release update anyway. And then you get your OOB releases, which are your out of band releases. And these are basically emergency updates which roll out between your normal monthly updates. And these are rolled out to address and fix critical vulnerabilities that have been detected and cannot wait for the next monthly updates and releases. Now, as mentioned in a previous video, uh, Windows 11 will also be getting one feature update every year as opposed to two feature updates that you get in Windows 10 currently. And those normally roll out in May and October for Windows 10. And in, and in Windows 11, this single feature update will most probably be released every year in October. And then um, Microsoft also says that uh, the Windows updates in Windows 11 will also be 40% smaller than the Windows 10 cumulative updates. And this is due to quality improvements and optimizations, they say, that have been made to the update engine in Windows 11. And when you um, check for updates in Windows 11 and a new update is available, uh, Windows will do a comparison and compare the new update package with what's already available and installed on your computer already. And then it will only download the necessary bits and pieces of information um, of the update from the Microsoft servers. And this, they say, will reduce the update size by around 40%. So according to Microsoft, that will just make the whole update pro process a lot smoother and faster due to the reduced size of the actual update. And now another little change coming in Windows 11 regarding Windows Update is that active hours will now be turned on by default. And this is what active hours is in Windows uh, 10, as many of you know. And mine is set uh, for from 9 o'clock in the morning to 6 in the evening. And active hours will be turned on by default now in Windows 11. And it's used to basically determine the hours when you're not actively using the PC. And this is when uh, the Windows updates will be downloaded um, automatically when you're not actively using your PC. So um, in Windows 11, this will be turned on by default and your updates won't be uh, uh, installed automatically in those active hours. And this is handy because obviously if you're in a workflow, a lot of people don't want to be disturbed by a Windows update. So I just wanted to, to as I say, do this follow up video as Windows 11 is rolling out very soon. And that's on the 5th of October this year, 2021. And I just wanted to do this video just to keep you posted on uh, more or less how the Windows update process will roll out in Windows 11. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.